For those of you that just want the list, here's the list of all tools we're going to cover in this video. I'm certain you already use some of these, but don't leave just yet. I'm going to show you some untapped strategies you can use with each of these two. For example, did you know that you can use Freedom and Google Calendar to help you stick to certain habits? If you didn't, you're going to love this video because I'm going to give you such advice for every single app that I mentioned before. Number one, Notion. Notion helps you organize your life. And if you're an entrepreneur, it helps you organize your teams as well. Everything from planners, design notes, your own CRM, uh, your design roadmap, your SEO outreach plan, and so on. The point is, you can create a lot with Notion. And since it's only a single app, you have everything organized in one concrete and easy to access space. For example, I use Notion to keep track of my daily tasks and of my weekly goals as well as a YouTube tracker that helps me track every single step of the process to create a new YouTube video. Number two, Google Docs. This one is super plain and there isn't a lot to talk about it. That's what you think I'd say, but did you know that Google Docs has add-ons? Look at all these add-ons, it's insane. Don't want to switch constantly between Google Docs and Google Translate? There's an add-on for that. Want to get by a plagiarism check from your teachers? Add a thesaurus and a plagiarism checker. Also, another cool thing you might find is the word count tool. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, a like would help me tremendously. Number three, Google Calendar. Let's get right into it. What's the secret method that helps you stick to your habits by using Google Calendar? Well, the method I'm going to share with you is called time boxing. Time boxing is a time management technique where you allocate a certain amount of time to an activity and then once the time is up, you stop working on it. This is great for developing habits because if you start working the same day or every two days or whenever your habit is supposed to kick in on an activity at the same time, you're much, much, much more likely to stick to it. And this doesn't give you the pressure of having to finish something before you stop working. You just work for the time you give yourself and then once the time is up, you stop. No pressure, only results. So what you want to do is add all of your habits to your calendar and then make them repeat on days you actually want to repeat them. For example, I have all of my workouts scheduled every day at 10 in the morning. And every day at the 10 of the morning, I see it on my calendar and I get it done. It doesn't matter if the workout is 100%. It doesn't matter if I quit half the way, which doesn't happen often, but does happen to sometimes and happens to all of us. What matters is that I started working out at 10 and that I finished at 11. But this isn't a powerful enough method on its own. That's why we are going to supercharge it with freedom. Number four, freedom. Freedom is a neat little app that destroys all of your distractions. Note, this is a paid app and there are many free alternatives to it. I just tend to use Freedom because it syncs over multiple devices and that helps me kill all of my distractions with one click. So the cool thing about Freedom is that you can schedule your blocking sessions. So for example, if I'm trying to build my workout habit that I work out every morning at 10 a.m., I actually scheduled Freedom so that it blocks all websites that I don't need. I only keep one website which is called center.com and that's the website where all of my workouts are. I blocked all of the apps, all of the websites, so I don't get scrolling on Reddit, TikTok and so on. Number five, Forest. Forest is very similar to Freedom, but unlike Freedom, Forest is free, baby! Forest doesn't have the advanced functionalities of Freedom like scheduling sessions or syncing on multiple devices. But what it does have is trees. And let me tell you about this. So the way forest works is that you pick a timer, let's say 25 minutes, that you're gonna keep growing your tree. During the period that the tree grows, you can't touch your phone at all. You can't go to your Instagram, your TikTok, your Reddit, and so on. You have to let it go and be productive. And if you do fail, let's say 10 minutes in, you go to your Instagram, you, your little tree is gonna die. You're gonna get a notification, hey, if you don't come back to forest and you keep scrolling Instagram, your poor little tree dies. And then if you actually do fail and you don't go back to forest, 
you're gonna see it on your map that you failed. You're gonna have a dead little sapling right there on the map. This is an amazing app for those who feel the need to constantly check social media. And that's it. Now I want to hear back from you. Which of these tools are you going to use first? And did I miss any of your favorite tools? If so, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can click the links on the side to watch more videos, or you can stick around on this one to hear some jokes from Google. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the two antennas that got married? The ceremony was okay, but the reception was great. <laughs>